All right, so welcome back to the St. Elizabeth Technical Sports Complex. As uh, the uh, St. Elizabeth Technical team, they're down by three. A very hard hill to climb. And, uh, uh, I'm goal buster now. I want to thank you for making it goal. Buster Sports Note. As we await the start from referee Alexi Perry. So the East Test team, they, they started with their the same 11 from the first half. The unchanged 11. All right, so second half action. And uh, uh, so uh, Cummins really having a, a wonderful game, the number 19. And, uh, Barnett he needs to step up his game. The uh, Stets 11, they need to get an early goal in order to set the pace for the comeback. Yeah. Justin McPherson, though, I think his game was off. And it's still off. Yeah. So, yeah. Again, your team, though, they're not kicking the ball away. They're, they're, they're controlling, playing it around. The state team, they need to do so. As the ball played forward for Johnson. And Francis. So... Uh, The, uh, the Stets team go and uh, stand here down and need the support from every angle. Uh, long ball. Couldn't get a kick on as Cohen who played wide. Uh, so, Brown. Uh, dummy there, but uh, uh, dummy that flew uh, past. And uh, Kahim Lois who needs to step up his game and has fouled his player. All right. What? All right. So, what? in uh, these situations, you need What's leaders, you need players who, who uh, will say, Hey, we can come say, back with the confidence. Uh, what? You know, their pursuit of a comeback need to get an early goal and Justin McPherson who, who is a slow to react and then we have it Shemar Stewart on the bench we need to call for a, a divine intervention ball played forward too close to goalkeeper John Roy Stedman beats that one out and then Alone there in Raheem White. Barnett. Oh, a little bit too big there. Intention was clear, but he will get there. In Raheem White. And inside to Barnett. Flick that one on. Raheem White. Brown. Still Barnett. Barnett still going. Still Barnett. And uh, the away. So corner kick. And they need to step up their game. And the Barnett is showing that he's a, he needs to get a goal. He needs to get back. He needs to go to the semi finals. At the moment, it's 0 0 between a Foom and the McGrath. And uh, a win for McGrath. We'll see the state team out at this stage yeah. no, the test team they're master. still in it and they for the eight minutes at the front four poor corner challenge there the players down all right so orain watson is off 
حلال As we are in the fiftieth minute. So, uh, need to move, be more aggressive. Need to be more organized and and communicate more. Again, your team they the score remains they will go to nine points maximum nine points over the top and headed away oh and he headed one and the goalkeeper out and uh, Owen Watson seeing the goalkeeper off his line. A very good effort there from the number nine. Hit the side netting. Nice coming there from McPherson. McPherson again. Not helping the team at the moment. So, that entire team is off. Not a good performance. Miller, he had the first goal. Yeah. Watson, in fact, that's it. Played wide. And Miller, nice work on the number 17. And White. Yeah. Played forward. Oh, he slides on his attempt to cross. He needs to act and he needs to act fast. So, in the middle, they, the Glenmuir team, they're, they're controlling the middle. They're winning the, the second ball in the middle. And that is a big problem when your engine is not working. Yeah. Need to uh, show a lecture fine the second half as white. Uh, every time the, the Stets team they they win possession, they lost it immediately. So they the Glenmuir team they are having a good possession of, of Ball here is a McPherson. He has support in Brown. Now he found Brown. Brown back to McPherson. It's a Brown. Oh, and a clumsy tackle there, and a yellow card coming out here for number 10 Cohen. Good move there from the number 22 Brown. Free kick in a very interesting era. The state team, they need to believe that they can come back. And so, uh, Deandre Barnett must start now. 55 minutes of action. Free kick sent in his bed technical. Over the wall. Oh, no! Over the top. Yeah, very good. A free kick and uh, uh, looks as if from this angle, like it's going in. And uh, the goalkeeper Murray, Justin Murray, he was. Covering that near post, but, uh, 
was dipping and he dips. Coach, come on, Rambo, where the burn go? He he can uh, get a a central defender in and push the number thirteen in the middle to stabilize that attack. We need a player who who will drive, who will go forward. Yet to see that player. Is right, Beecher. So, yeah. White, yeah. Lewis, Beecher. Yeah. Fifteen. They're getting some touches in. Oh my God. Do it. Couldn't get around white. There's a Raheem White. They don't want to cross. Justin McPherson. On to uh, Johnson. Oh, and uh, showing that ball too much. As a, a lone striker, and, uh, Hewitt has a recover. Uh, Wright has done well, needs a good pass. Found one for the run of Lewis, but uh, nicely is there and uh, nicely not that one out for a uh, step throwing midway the Glenmuir team half. Johnson. Then lies it for McPherson. Oh, you need a better shot than that. So, the Glen Muir team, they are not explosive as they were in the first half. They are just enjoying a 3 0 lead. Here we go. So, McGrath 2, room 0. So, if the score remains, the Stets team, they will be out. They won't make it to the semi final. So, the Stets team, they have half an hour to get back into this game. So, Clean challenge. And the offside call. So the Stets team, they have half an hour to get back into this game. They have to get three goals in order to make it to, to the semi-finals. So, uh, way how the Glen Muir team they're playing, uh, looks uh, hard to get back into this game for the state team with a goal. I'm sure we'll screw some confidence. So, wide. Eh? 
Cummings. Ball over the top. Headed out. And uh, Lewis Doe not into this game. And, uh, uh, 62 minutes. And, uh, the Glen Muir team as the day started at one short. And New Money Blackwood. Very experienced Glen Muir unit. Over the top. Control and cleared away. Far to Justin McPherson. There's a Raheem White. Brown. So, as they announce, it's a nice ball. And put in control. There's a Jade Lynch who's there's a, playing further afield. And a test team yet to test goalkeeper Murray. So, yeah, from technical team, they 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 had three goals against the Glenmuir team. It's not impossible, but uh, at the moment, the team they need to find some form of chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. though they need to play a higher game. Then your team really playing well. They're finding the space, the off the ball movement is is perfect. As uh, the Shemar Stewart who stands on the sidelines he will get in justin mcpherson game is off and will they make the substitution now so it's Johnson who's getting off. So Justin McPherson stays. And the Shemar Stewart. So you need energy. And uh, Shemar Stewart is the man with the energy as he come in. In the 64th minute of play. Corner kick, Glen Muir. Oh, a nice corner headed away from Lewis. Second consecutive corner coming up. At the front post. Out for Headley. Nice ball inside and John I7 has done well. And the ball for Raheem White. He needs a challenge. So the Glenmuir team they control the midfield. There is where they stay team they need to. get control of the uh, midfield they are playing very deep they need to step up play a higher game oh and Justin McPherson silly mistakes this team they need to get players in so, 
Jason White is on challenge. Ball over the top for Saunders. Played it inside to the danger man on his right boot. Here's a shot on a 4 0. Number nine, Owen Watson. Has drive the nail in the coffin. No way for the Stets team to come back. And now, Owen Watson with his second of the, the game. And a great striker's goal to make it 4 0 here for the Glenmuir team. So the Glenmuir team coming in with some substitutions as the number 11 is in. Naron Allen is in. So a, a triple substitution here for the Glenmuir team. Uh, 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 21 Ricardo Bins is also in. And uh, uh, Corner kick and also number 20. Take one, Allen is in. So Take Wayne, Allen, number 20 for the Glenmere team is in. So a triple substitution from coach Andrew Peart at the front post. Goal kick. 69 minutes. 21 minutes to go. 4 0 Glenmuir. They lead. Yeah, Justin McPherson. Yeah. Nice to play that one away. Justin McPherson uh, moves around. Uh, uh, he's a player. Nicely done. And uh, here comes the whistle. Was it inside the box? Wasn't inside the box. So it's a free kick on the edge of the 18. Glenn, your team really dominating this game. So, Kahim Lewis over this one. Perfect angle for the number nine. Get it over the wall. Can he do so? And a nice free kick, but over the top. Goal kick, Glenmuir. So, as it stands, the Estates team, they will have to settle for Ben Francis. As a McGrath, they lead from technical 2 0. So RJ Newman who sets to get in. Most would say it's a fairy tale. And, uh, most will have faith. Still, even though it looks your way out, McPherson. 
Justin McPherson has done well. Mm. Mm. Throw that ball back. So, uh, Poor pass for him. So the first team, though, they, from the inception of this game, they, they have been playing deep, and they're still playing deep. You have nothing to lose now. You have to play a higher game. So, uh, Stuart. And the ball played white for Raheem White and giving away possession. Team, uh, a ball that played 20 yards and uh, there's no player in yellow ball over the top and uh, it away from nicely look at the space Look at the space as it's still seen they back off. As if even the coaching staff panicked, and a dull, dull moment by the test team, the Glen Muir team, though having it easy here at the Stets Sports Complex. Thirteen minutes to go. And uh, then your team surely with maximum nine points. And it looks as if they will have a clean sheet also. Yeah. 
was 10 minutes a game. So, I said before, they blame your team there winning the second ball in the middle. Our substitution number 17 is getting off. Aurel Miller, who had the first goal. Number 12, James Wellington, is in. Strong Vladimir unit and a McPherson giving away possession again. Having been having a, a good game, Lewis is a McPherson and a goal. McPherson with a, a clinching goal, starting goal. To bring up his 11th goal of the competition and uh, has about my consolation with 10 minutes to go and a Justin McPherson with a brilliant goal so a uh, goal and they get three more with 10 minutes to go Good move. Play it forward. And he took a deflection. Even I can put here the, the touch. But the referee, Perry, looks as if the referee needs some something in his ear. So, is it too late? As at the Glenmore team, they come again. They don't want off to Saunders. Played wide for Miller for Knight. Over the top, headed away from Brown. Taken quickly. Here's Hewitt. Mr. Steen, they refuse to lay down and die. Here's Justin McPherson. Nice touch. Need support. A nice ball inside. <laughs> That's team showing resilience, not laying down and die. Hopes are coming. That's it, man. They're fighting. They're not giving up. And a two quality goal. As a Justin McPherson again. Shemar Stewart. And McPherson really turning up the fire here. Barnett. 
Ball of chance. And uh, nothing there. Ball of forward. Hewitt. McPherson. Here's right. Ball across to Brown. There's a goalkeeper advances. Cleared away. So, six minutes to go. And the Stets team, they're turning up the heat here at the Centers of a Technical Sports Complex. Not laying down. Right, you head back. Oh, a poor pass. Ball across. Do it. Oh, he was dug in the back. So, five minutes to go. Five minutes to go, and the Stets team, they need a goal. Just one goal to salvage their semi final berth. And the ball played wide. Oh! A close chance there from, from Owen Watson. A clear, clear chance for the number nine to get his hat trick. Here comes the Stets team again. Stedman. Long floating ball with the Stets team there waiting on the second ball. Here's Barnett. Whoa, whoa, Maran, Maran, Maran. Barnett. Wide on to the danger man in the Justin McPherson. Ball at the back post. Oh, a little bit too big there. We need to get the ball and spot it. Raheem White. He, he runs away. Four minutes to go. And the Stets team coming in with a substitution as RJ Newman will get in. in the middle and now the Stets team they're winning the second ball in the middle and oh a poor pass good and I could not keep that one in play substitution as uh, McPherson has done well has done his his a share now it's at number 26 RJ Newman will RJ Newman get his first goal of the competition a goal that will see the Stets team in the semi-final Handball, free kick, Stets. Oh, and the ball intended for Barnett. Headed away as a empty Allen. Here is Allen with two to find. Two minutes of normal time to play. Plus what referee Alexi Perry will add. So dying moments of this game. And the Central Mechanical team, they need just one more goal. Here is a Kahim Lewis needs to step up his game 
Jade Lynch. Jade Lynch. Oh, and the straight to go the keeper. Murray. Justin Murray. Need to hit that one on, on an angle. Yeah, Brown. Brown. Oh, and he couldn't keep that one in place. Uh, 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 Brown. So, the new one in Blackwood with the throwing. Over the top and a little bit too big there. Ball at the back post, here's the header. Oh, that is it. It's all over. Play the one with all those things. Make a back post header to increase the lead to five. And uh, our first team the comeback has been faded away from the number 21 player. Return opens 5 2. And uh, it felt the comeback, it felt as if the first team were, were gonna come back. Free kick. So, just three minutes, a minimum of three minutes for Murphy Perry. Ball at the back post, the goalkeeper comes and kiss that one away. Brown, Barnett, floating away. So, there goes. Oh, it's not. It's a whistle for stretcher. It's a bins. We call it a bins. Down. Two minutes of the minimum of three. So we are looking at the full time whistle and a whistle that will see the Stets team out of the Da Costa Cup semi finals. And uh, they will have to settle for Ben Francis. Yes, they can. All right, so there, there you have it. Full time whistle. And. Uh, 5-2 five, five, is the final score and the center of the technical team here has been knocked out in the quarterfinal at the quarterfinal stage and the Glenmuir team they advance and the McGrath team they will advance after a 3 nil win over Foom Technical so uh, the center of the technical team they will have to settle for Ben Francis and uh, that is it for me here. Um, because coaches 
very disappointed. But they were beaten by a better team in Glenmuir High. So, 5 2, that's the final score here. And the first team, they're out of the Costa Cup 2024.